Thanks to the band for that piece of music. I hope you enjoyed listening and following on. Now, one of the things we've hoped to do through this is give you an opportunity to see and hear from somebody who's been working throughout the lockdown period that we've been experiencing and perhaps in something within our local community that you may not have heard a huge amount about. So we're really grateful today that Libby has offered to do that for us and she will have been working incredibly hard throughout the whole lockdown period. You'll have seen lots in the news about what's going on with schools but um, these people working behind the scenes are real heroes and Libby is one of those. So we've asked Libby if she could just share with us a little bit about what her experience has been like and also perhaps some things that we could be praying for. So in a few moments you're going to see that video from Libby. And then after that we're going to have another song this time chosen by Dennis Fursey, and this is one of his favourite songs, and it's the song He Giveth More Grace. Hello, my name is Libby, for those of you who don't know me, and I work as a school business manager across two schools in our town. And Simon has asked me to briefly tell you what's been happening in school during the lockdown. Well, when the government announced the closure of schools as from the end of March, um, we were able to still continue to open to provide emergency childcare provision for the children of key workers and also some of the vulnerable children within our school communities. So given the reduced numbers coming to school it has meant that staff have had to adapt and we've been doing a lot of homeworking during this time. So when staff are not in school then they are working from home to prepare the home learning packs that we've been sending out to children and to families each week. Um, they've been going online, but we are aware that there are families within our school who do not have access to this technology. So we've also been able to prepare paper versions and these have been prepared and delivered around to the children each week so that they can continue their learning at home. So from an admin point of view, um, that has meant that we haven't been in school all the time, so we've been home working too, which personally has been fine, although I think with three of us trying to work from home, we've really been pushing the internet access at times. As you know, the government then announced that as from the 1st of June, there would be a phased return to school for some children. And we had to ensure at that time that we were able to um, accommodate those children that wanted to come back in a safe environment and uh, that, so that they could continue their education. And uh, it was a big piece of work, but we managed to do that. And uh, a week in, um, things are going well. It must seem very strange for those children coming back into school after such a long period of time. And so I would ask for your prayers for those children that are returning to school at the moment. They've had three months at home, and for some that would have been a lovely experience where they've enjoyed being schooled by their parents and it's been a time to experience a different way of learning and to make memories. But we're also aware for some of those children coming back into school that has not been the case. And for them it has been a real, real difficult time. And so I would ask you to pray for those children coming back into school and uh, that we will be able to provide them with what they need. I would also ask you to pray for members of staff as we return to work, that you will keep us safe, safe from the virus, and that you will also um, enable us to meet the needs of the children returning to school. I'd also ask you to pray for, for school, and not just our schools, but for all schools as a whole, that um, you will pray God's protection over them as they return to normal, whatever that looks like. I'd ask you to pray for wisdom as they look at how they can best meet the needs of those children returning to school. And I would just pray for guidance and for God's love to be evident in the environments around us. 